A great slam and then stop. You're up. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 indie games of the last five years. For this list, we're only looking at indie games released between 2016 and 2021. Let us know in the comments which will stay with you for years. Number 10. Inside. The spiritual successor to the widely popular game Limbo, Inside manages to turn the weirdness up to 11. It's another side-scrolling puzzle platformer, but with even stranger puzzles to wrap your head around. While grappling with mind control devices and a particularly violent mermaid, you'll descend deeper and deeper into an ominous facility. So deep, it seems impossible that you'll ever find your way back out. And yes, there are plenty of horrific death animations, though thankfully none involve a spider this time. But Inside doesn't get really memorable until the very end. We won't spoil it, but it's worth checking out just for its unreal finale. Number 9. Return of the Obra Dinn The year is 1808, and you're the lone insurance investigator tasked with uncovering the mystery of the Obra Dinn, a derelict ghost ship that has just reappeared. It's got a distinct, monochromatic art style that makes it look far older, and you spend most of the game looking for items, logs, and piecing together exactly what happened. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. It's not got complex mechanics, and instead shines with its story. It's the next game from the creator of Papers, Please, itself an outstanding indie game, and it certainly doesn't disappoint. You'll use magic to commune with the dead, and hopefully uncover the truth. Number 8. Night in the Woods A story-driven game with platforming elements, Night in the Woods is profoundly relatable to anybody in a similar age range to the main characters. May is a 20-year-old who's just returned to her hometown to live with her parents after dropping out of college. It's not immediately clear why she dropped out, but you eventually learn of May and her friends and their struggles with mental health. They're all trying to become adults in a complicated world, growing up without much direction. It's told in an incredibly profound way. But if that doesn't strike you, there's also a conspiracy about the town being run by a cult you'll need to get to the bottom of. Number 7. Cuphead A great slam and then stop. You're up! As many mainstream games seem to get easier and easier with each passing year, Cuphead was a breath of fresh air, a run-and-gun platformer lauded from the beginning for its grueling but incredibly fun and rewarding difficulty. It can also be played entirely in co-op, as Mugman joins Cuphead in trying to beat the devil at his own game. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right-hand man. But what really puts Cuphead a cut above the rest is its art style, consistently using animation inspired by 1920s and 1930s cartoons. It's a refreshing and imaginative journey through animation history, and nothing beats the satisfaction of finally killing that boss after mastering a specific platforming segment. <laughs> 
Number 6. Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition The first act of Kentucky Route Zero came out way back in 2013, but it wasn't until early 2020 that the entire game was finished. 2020 saw the release of Act 5, and an additional interlude at the end provided you fulfill certain esoteric conditions as well as a complete port of the entire game plus interludes to consoles. It's a simple adventure game that takes inspiration not only from earlier games through its polygonal art style, but also from literature, frequently incorporating a fictional playwright as well as references to real-world writers like Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It's a thoughtful and oftentimes incredibly sad look at the world after the 2008 recession. Number 5. Hollow Knight Gwen on in, man. <laughs> You'll come to Hollow Knight for the atmosphere and beautiful art design, and you'll stay for its brilliant combat and thrill of overcoming impossible odds. Existing across genres, it's a 2D action platformer, Metroidvania Souls-like, featuring the exploration and backtracking of Metroid with the punitive deaths of Dark Souls, where you'll lose your currency and your soul itself. The soul becomes a shade you need to defeat to restore your health capacity. With real hand-drawn animations for its characters, the world of Hollow Nest really comes to life. It's a brutal world to exist in, but there's nothing else quite like it. <laughs> Number 4. Stardew Valley On the surface, Stardew Valley might look like any other farming simulator, but it's actually one of the deepest games on the market, full of so much content you'll keep playing for years. Disillusioned with your life working in an office, you decide to up sticks and move to Pelican Town, Stardew Valley to take over your family farm. You'll grow seasonal crops, keep livestock, craft increasingly complex items, and even go dungeon crawling in the mine. As well as all that, the romance options are extremely varied. The town is diverse, and sexuality is a non-issue. You just need to ensure you have the right gifts. Stardew Valley is escapism at its finest. Number 3. Celeste <laughs> This puzzle platformer will win you over with its gameplay as soon as you start playing. With beautiful pixel art, Celeste is truly a throwback with many modern innovations to its mechanics. <laughs> The puzzles might be tricky at first, but soon enough you'll be getting from point A to point B faster and with more finesse than you ever could have imagined. On top of that, it's also got a great story and is a thoughtful meditation on mental health and how simple tasks can sometimes seem impossible. It's extremely poignant, and the icing on this wonderful cake is that its soundtrack is just as great as everything else about it. Number 2. Hades No exactly, yes, I'm certain everything is going fine for you right now, but just in case, but just in case, I got a little something just for you. Though it was popular in early access, Hades still seemed to come out of nowhere near the end of 2020. This outstanding indie game is possibly one of the best roguelike ever created, with superb moment-to-moment -moment gameplay that can be endlessly modified with boons and weapons. My blade. It follows Zagreus, the son of Hades, as he fights his way out of the underworld. Along the way, you'll meet many characters from Greek mythology, all with gorgeous artwork to complement the great voice acting, and you'll even be able to romance some of them. As well as that, the optional god mode makes it more accessible, encouraging even more people to pick it up. Hey, you're not alone. You're not alone down there, okay? 
Here, let me show you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Firewatch. Become a fire lookout and hope the paranoia of loneliness doesn't get to you. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Outer Wilds. Repeat the same doom cycle over and over and unravel the truth of the universe. Spelunky 2. The first game was perfect, but the sequel improved on it exponentially. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Disco Elysium – The Final Cut What you have in your head is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. It's been hailed as one of the greatest role-playing games ever made, and it certainly lives up to that title. Disco Elysium is the story of a washed-up alcoholic detective in the Citizens' Militia, a police force few people recognize the authority of. It's down to you whether the detective can change his ways or whether he'll plunge into darkness and destruction forever. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. While grappling with that personal struggle, you're also investigating a grisly murder that the local dock workers union seems to be to blame for. The game's many talking heads will wax lyrical about politics while you take in the beautiful watercolor art style and eventually you'll want to stay in Revachal forever, despite its flaws. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scowl armor, sparkling. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.